Welcome back to another video in our useful website series. For those of you that are new to this series, the websites I share with you will cover a wide variety of categories. Hopefully you find some of these sites to be useful for you. Let's get started. Number one, Bitwarden Password Generator. To avoid having your accounts compromised, having a strong password is essential. Bitwarden, a password manager we've recommended in the past, has a great password generator on their site that can even come in handy for folks that don't want to use a password manager. It couldn't be any easier to use. For a new password, select Regenerate. And now you have a new strong password. You can change from a password to a passphrase. Choose how many words or characters that you want, along with additional options. The next time you need a really strong password, Give Bitwarden's Password Generator a try. Number two, typing.com. Some of you out there are great at typing, as long as it's on a smartphone. But when it comes to typing on a computer keyboard, you may need to improve your skills. The hunt and peck method of typing is amusing to watch, but it's not the most efficient. This is where typing.com can help you out. There's a teacher section that can help to grade and track a student's progress. And if you're a student just wanting to get in some extra practice or an adult just wanting to get better at typing, select students. At the very top, you can log into the site if you'd like to save your progress. And I'll show you a quick example on how to use the site. So to get started, select Typing Lessons. I created a new account so we can start here at the beginning. When you're ready, select Start Your Lessons. All you have to do is follow the on-screen instructions and the lessons start out really easy. So once you've read the instructions, select continue. And it just wants me to do the letter J here. So I'll try to type it quickly. Then just go to the next screen, read the instructions again, select continue. Now it wants me to type the letter J with some spaces. So let me try this out. As you progress further, it does get more difficult. They offer typing tests that can earn you certificates that you can show off to other people. They also offer games to make learning typing more fun. Typing.com is completely free with unlimited use for both students and teachers. Number three, my fridge food. Now most of us have leftover items in a refrigerator or pantry, which instead of being wasted, could be used for some other recipe we don't know about. This is where My Fridge Food comes in handy. You have the options on their landing page for Quick Kitchen, which is a short list of more common items. Or for a more extensive list, you could select Show All Ingredients. Here's how you use it, it's really simple. You just select all the items on the list that you currently have. So I'll select Bacon, Avocado, Buffalo Hot Sauce, Eggs, and salsa. When you're done, just select Find Recipes. And under each recipe, it'll let you know if there are any missing ingredients. If you see a recipe that looks interesting, just select it. And here for the bacon wrapped eggs, gives you all the cooking details, along with the directions and ingredients. The great thing about this site is it's completely free, and you can also sign up on the site if you want to save your recipes. Number four, Khan Academy. This is one of the best learning sites on the internet. Founded back in 2006, Khan Academy is completely free. Recently, I featured them in an Android app video that a few of you may have seen. They also have an iOS app. There are several categories to choose from, including math, science and engineering, computing, arts and humanities, and economics. They'll even help you practice to get ready for the SAT and other tests. To get started, just select a topic you need help with. You can either start from the basics or skip ahead to an area that you need help with. Then you just follow the instructions on the screen. Number five, iFixit. This site is great for people that want to repair their electronics at a fraction of the cost of having it done by a professional. iFixit is a company that sells parts and tools for doing repairs but what makes them awesome is their free, easy to follow repair guides. Navigating the site is easy. 
You could enter the name of the device into the search box or select Explore Categories. Let's suppose that I have an iPhone 14 Pro that needs a new battery. Select Phone, Apple iPhone, then find it in the list. And there it is. Here you can see all the guides for that device. After selecting any guide, you'll see a short introduction with the parts needed on the right. Below that are the step-by-step -step instructions. Instead of overpaying someone the next time you need your device repaired, try doing it yourself with the iFixit repair guides. Number six, small PDF. I can't tell you how many times I've been asked for software that will convert a PDF into a Word document or vice versa. If you have Microsoft Word or the paid version of Adobe Acrobat, this process is easy. If you don't, it can be a hassle. Thankfully, Small PDF makes it easy. They have several tools listed on the screen that should help you out, including PDF to Word, Word to PDF, PDF compression, JPEG to PDF, and many others. And since all of the work is done in the cloud, all these tools will work on all operating systems, including Windows, Mac, and Linux. Small PDF does have a free plan that allows access to 21 of their tools with a limit of two documents downloaded per day. If you want unlimited access, their pro plan is $9 per month. Number seven, Soundation. This last one I'm gonna show you, in my opinion, is super cool. Soundation is a music studio in the cloud with many features including recording, effects, virtual instruments, and over 700 free loops and sounds. Instead of just talking about it, let's jump in and I'll briefly show you how it works. What's great about this is you don't have to have any music experience at all. You'll notice your audio channels are here on the left. If you need more, you just hit the plus sign down here. There are sliders so you can adjust the volume for each channel. And there are several effects that you can choose from. Over on the right side, in the library tab, all of these sounds are free and you can pay extra to get premium sounds. I'm gonna show you a quick example on how to use it here. So I'm gonna select Electronica, 125. Now I'll select Kick and just click and drag it over to an audio channel. To extend the time, just grab a corner, click and drag. Let's hear how that sounds. Now let's add clap, click and drag it. Extend it out and let's hear that. That sounds pretty cool. Now let's add a snare. and hear that. That's not too bad. I would suggest playing around with this for a while, experimenting with the free sounds to make some really cool music. To learn how to use Soundation, they have how-tos and videos to get you started. I've only used the free account so far. If you need more features, they do offer paid versions starting at $4.99 per month. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if you got something useful from it and share it with others. Let me know in the comments if you know of a useful website that you think more people should know about. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on future videos in our useful website series and other tech-related stuff.